what's up youtube so following our video series uh, related to dmvpn now uh, let's look at how we're going to deploy dmvpn phase one using dynamic mapping uh, the problem with state mapping was related to scalability so we have this topology where we currently have four routers four sites and if we need to add one more router that would mean that we would have to change the configuration on all the other routers so that's a problem so to solve this there is an option and that's dynamic mapping so the configuration doesn't change much uh but it saves a lot of effort so let's start configuring our tunnel with the same ip address and it's going to be uh, tunnel source zero tunnel mode uh, GRE multipoint. Let's enable HRP at the interface level. And as we're going to run a dynamic protocol, I'm just going to enable multicast right from the start so i can hrp map multicast and i want to run this dynamically so that's in actually actually i was forgetting no let's first Let's enable this uh, New York site. Is it okay? It's done. Okay, it's up. Is everything okay? It is. Now let's start with the first spoke. London. And London should be Q. Sourcing from E0 tunnel mode talking about phase one so it should be tunnel destination on m2 1602 enable an hrp and we'll use this option nhs nhs stands for uh like the the server so there is an entity that is going to be in charge of knowing the registration of all the other spokes in the network so all the spokes in the network we have to point towards this entity and this entity is reachable via its tunnel ip address and the way we reach it is through uh 10151192 okay so that's what makes this tunnel a dynamic one. So we point towards the NHS server. That's the NHRP server, and that's our hub. That's how we're going to reach it through its NBMA IP address. And we're supporting multicast dynamically instead of having this statically. Okay. And let's deploy this on London. Oh. I almost forgot config mode best done i can see tunnel it's up and one five two actually before doing that let me show you something 1606 and it was discovered dynamically and it's already up so and each of these should work okay and you see the the difference of the options that i have i had to do the previous one uh mapping for all the other spokes and this one i didn't or i don't have to so this makes our configuration much cleaner simple and overall our topology scales easily so let's now configure doubling i don't need to change anything else and that's all i need doubling and 
paste. Ahí está. Ok. My look at my DM VPN. Oh, I have the static mapping. And I ping 10151. I do and two I can. Okay. So so far everything is the same in terms of behavior. Now let's add our routing protocol. And to do that, I'm going to use OSPF. So I'll enable OSPF area zero. And let's start with London OSPF area zero. A JCC app, awesome. Now let me advertise my local interface and IP SPF area zero. Okay. Do show IP SPF neighbor. Let's see. It's up. Okay. State, no state. Let's look my routing table. 1012, it's okay. Can PC 13 reach PC 12? That should be 10, 1, 2, 2. Oh, it can. Normal. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so now let me add Dublin to party. So IP SPF area 0. And what is this? and something wrong isn't right so let me remove this command actually and what happened so if we have a causal look uh ospf detected these as a network point to point as we know for point to point networks ospf only allow two peers Okay, so there are only two peers, there are not multiple peers. So in essence, what we have to do is to change the OSPF network type. But also remember that in order to establish JCC, uh, OSPF requires that the network type be the same, the network has to be the same, and MTU has to be the same, the timers have to be the same authentication, but the point I want to focus actually is related to timers. As we know OSPF use fast timers for broadcast network and for point to point networks. As we can see here, hello is 10 seconds and dead interval is 40. And if we look at London, it should have the same values. So we need to change the OSPF network to support multiple agencies and options for that are broadcast network, point to multi point network, point to multi point non broadcast network and non broadcast network. Okay. Each one of them has its own advantage depending on the scenario. Uh, but for this one, um, they don't want to change network type on Spox or just change on the hub. Okay, so going back to this interface, I'm going to change network type to point to multi point. Okay, so but I see the agency is down and it's down because uh multi-point interface they use slow timers meaning hello time is 30 seconds and that interval is 120. so we have to either change the timers on spokes or on hub so i'm just changing here ipspf hello to be 10 and that interval to be uh, to be 40. So it will take the dead interval automatically, but just uh, for consistency purpose, I'm just changing. Okay, so if I look again, I see IPSPF1, hello interval is 10 and dead interval 40. 
and our agency it's back online and you can see our SPF route it's there now this means that Dublin can join the party and let's see and sure it can so let me look at routing table to show IP SPF route hmm adjacent see it's up but I'm not receiving anything why is that okay no it was taking longer than I thought than I expected uh yes and we can see that Dublin has received uh the routes from London okay and you can see that um it is being advertised the tunnel uh ip address and you know point to multi point advertises a slice 32 because it sees uh the interface as multiple point to point interfaces so but now from pc 13 we should have reachability to 10 1 3 2. i think i might have missed to advertise IP this local interface okay I'm not receiving 1013 okay let me give okay now it's there so this means PC 13 should be able to reach that one and it just works like shop okay so key points to take from this one is that uh we enable uh dynamic mapping of spokes so whenever we need to add a new spoke um all you have to do is to map to nhs server and the reference it's uh nbma ip address and the tunnel ip address and to support uh routing protocols just to use multicast plus the keyword dynamic and when it comes to OSPF, you have to watch out for OSPF default behavior on tunnel interface. It will detect the interface as a tunnel interface. If we want, we can change everyone's interface to support multiple adjacencies, like everyone running point to point, multi point, or multi point non broadcast, or broadcast or non broadcast, as long as it's not point to point that only allows um two peers okay uh, we might have scenarios that uh dr bdr election is required for some reason but if it's not you can just use a uh, multicast uh point to point uh multi-point or broadcast okay uh there is also one point that I want to highlight, and this is about uh, OSPF actual behavior. And we're using the keyword multicast to support routing protocols that run over multicast. If for some reason we do not allow it to deploy multicast on the tunnel interface, we can use the OSPF. Um, let me show you the OSPF non-broadcast option that will run the, the routing protocol as unicast instead of multicast. And actually, let me just show you how we can do this. So right now I'm running point to multi point and just IP, IP, OSPF network point to multi point, multi -point non-broadcast. And I have to change this uh, because right now I'm using Unicast, really still working, but uh, now I have to specify my neighbors and it should be 10152 and 3. And at the tunnel interface, I don't have to support multicast dynamic 
So let me change the network type IP OSPF network point two multi point non broadcast and RSPF and neighbor N one five one. Now, interface tunnel, IPSPF, uh, network, point two, multi point, non broadcast, and uh, neighbor ten one five one. And do show IPSPF neighbor. It's down. Why? Let me see. Tapping the tunnel might help. Oh, I think I know why. The timers, they don't match. I have to change the timers. No IP OSPF. Hello, 10. And that 40. Yeah, just OSPF. Point to multi point protocol, but it doesn't detect any neighbor. IP SPF, what is it? Same point 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 non broadcast. Oh, oh. Why did I use 100? And why it's not coming up? 10151. Oh, something wrong with my tunnel. What's. Why is my tunnel down? 10151. What about 2? What about three? Oh, this looks like I broke something else. Ten one five one ten one. That shouldn't have affected the tunnel itself. Hmm. And one five two. Ah, oh, sometimes you just need the hug. Yeah, ten one shot. Okay, no shot. Okay, yes, yeah, sometimes DMVPN plays you these tricks and. Uh, ten, one, five, three. I'm okay. You're okay. He's okay. The sure. SPF. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming. Okay. The show IP SPF database. Do we have information? Not yet. Okay. No, we good. Okay. So that's cover all about DMVPN phase one. Uh, dynamic mappings so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one